Okay, so I mean, you could just create a normal folder any way you want on any any directory. You just gotta create a folder. That's all I did, and then I used VS Code to open that folder wherever it was. Okay, now we can begin our steps. So if we take a look at our, our blog article, um, I'm just gonna go into the steps for now. So first thing we need to so the second thing we need to we created a folder. The second thing we need to do is create a nightwatch.js file. So we're going to go back to our terminal here and I'm sorry, we VS Code and then we're gonna go into the terminal. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna select view integrated terminal. Okay, so even in Windows, it's a PowerShell, so it's you have to use CMD commands for it. Okay, okay, great. So we're there. Now, what we need to do is create a file. So either we could just we do is we could go here. On here is a new file. We just create a new file. Where we're going to say nightwatch.js. Okay, just gonna go back to here. Yep, and we're going to copy this code here. Uh, just a line. Paste. Okay, then we're going to save it. Okay. So Windows, you have to give double quotes. And for Mac, it was a single quote. That's, I believe that's the issue here. There we go. Okay, now we're going to cre create an npackage.json, which is going to create, um, which is going to help us kind of create all the structure for the project. So you can say npm in it. Okay, and we can just press enter for all of it right now. Enter, enter. Um, we want it to be entry point as nightwatch.json, which is good. Then test command, enter, 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 enter. enter. And yes. Okay, that's it. So here we go. So it creates a file here. So we're gonna see how this kind of comes into play later on, but for now, we will just keep it like that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now next thing we need to do is install the Nightwatch itself, the framework. So let's kind of take a look at the framework. Okay, so this is their main website and you can go look at all the documentation, you can download it. Um, but it's quite complex, um, so we want to be very beginner friendly, so that's why we're going to kind of step through our processes. Um, okay, so let's go back to our VS Code. Okay, I'm just going to clear this out. Now we're going to write that command. It says npm install night watch dash dash save so this is going to install the night watch and save it into our package.json under dev dependency as you'll see so while it's installing I want to I want to go into talk a little bit on the npm what that what does that mean so npm is a part of like a package manager for node so if you look at it, npm, you can go to their default the, to their website. npm js. So what they do is like instead of you having to download all of the stuff, it it basically creates a folder called node modules, um, and um, and and there it creates all the all the packages that you need to run your to run your project pretty much 
So, yep, it's still downloading. Okay, that's fine. We'll let it download for now. Let's go back. Let's talk about npm js. Yep. So this lets you search, um, install all the packages, and from a command line, it helps kind of build the blocking. Basically, building blocks for your applications. Um, all the libraries that you need is you can kind of do npm install and, and find it. So, for example, you can search here Nightwatch. Yeah, see? As you can see, it's pretty popular. Um, around 400,000 downloads were done last month. Um, yep, okay, so let's see our, our thing. Okay, great. So it seems it's, have, it's downloaded. How do we check that? As you can see, you can see node modules. And these are all the dependency and all the different things that, and as we add more structure, you could just, it's going to download everything into the node modules. More importantly, we night watch right here. Okay, all right. Let's go to the next step. We're going to create a few folders. Okay, so we're just gonna go here. We're gonna we're gonna minimize these. Make sure to close this. Go outside, and then create. So we're going to create pages. We're going to nothing's there. Create. Create tests. OK, it's outside. And a lib directory. Oh, again, <laughs> not there. Go outside and yeah, lib. Okay, now inside the lib directory, we're going to also create uh, another, uh, now we need to create a, a subdirectory called uh, drivers. So here is where we're going to store our uh, Chrome driver and Firefox driver um, and any kind of additional, additional requirements that we need. Uh, to be able to do that so that for example you for now we're just going to create our uh, we're just going to use chrome driver so we're just going to go to that link here and what we need is uh um selen two things we need two things first we're going to need the selenium standalone jar and then the th second thing is we're going to need um um chrome driver as I mentioned so first let's let it download here so I think this is downloading so I'm gonna let it download that and um, let's go back to here and we need a chrome driver okay I think it's loading okay so we're going to download Windows version. So Chrome driver win dot zip. It's okay. So this is downloading, and we also have our. I think this one is downloaded as well. Let me check on the Selenium standalone jar. Okay, so it downloaded on in the desktop. Okay, that's fine. For now, we're gonna move it. Okay, I think it's. Okay, so it's downloading and let's check this one. Where is it downloading to? So both of these files is where we're going to we want to move it to the drivers directory Let's check this one Show in folder, okay, so this is in downloads. I'm just going to extract it So I'm going to extract I'll also extract it to desktop and then we'll just move it to both of them together. Okay. Okay, done. So let's let's 
follow our steps now. So what we need to, again, so this is step number eight. We downloaded the Chrome driver and the standalone jar, all right? Number six and seven. Okay, number eight, from the downloaded folder, move both files to a lib directory in your project. So that's what we need to do. So we're gonna go, we're just gonna open, um, we need to open the tools in desktop. Uh, it's a standalone jar and Chrome driver. Where did it go? Uh, okay, yeah, right here. Okay, I'm just going to copy both or cut. One second, open it. Okay, so we need to put it into the drivers here. This is where we need to put it. So I'm just going to move where we downloaded the standalone jar from. Okay, so we downloaded the 3.10, so the latest one, we're gonna move it. Then we're going to move the Chrome driver. Now, so let's just minimize that. And as you can see, if we go up, we have, okay. Yep, so we have a Chrome driver and we have our Selenium Selenium standalone jar. I just want to see if this opens. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. So now we move on to the next step. Okay, we did that. Now we need to do is copy this, this here into for nightwatch.json so first let me copy this so what this is is basically uh how we can configure the project to run like it's this this json file is where the nightwatch will take a look at to to run um to run your your tests and where the drivers will be it's like a palm.xml if you ever worked with selenium with java so for now we're going to write this as night we're going to create a new file night watch dot json okay and we're going to paste that here okay so as you can see you, you can have like edge driver or chrome drive like you have your chrome here um, you're setting your, your, your local host, which URL you want to go to, and then the Chrome driver, etc. So as we can see, like I, we're giving the path here, the lib drivers, Chrome driver, that's where we are. Like that's where our driver is. So it, it will know where, where the Chrome driver is. Then also we want to make an exe here for Windows and then standalone jar. Okay. I'm gonna save this. All right, so we're almost done now. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a sample test. So we're gonna call that. So I think that's the next step. Basically, we're gonna Google.js. Okay, well, that's an, pretty much it. So we're gonna do is go here. Um, we make sure we set the path of Selenium, which is exactly what we did. So lib Chrome driver, as you can see, lib Chrome driver, and standalone jar. We have that perfect. Also, I'm gonna make sure what number this is. This matches this number, so let's make sure that uh, I'm gonna open the nightwatch.json. So it's three dot eight dot one, and what do I have it downloaded? So as you can see, I have this one, 3.10.10. So we have to change that because I had put in the documentation, maybe old, we got newer jar files and you may have downloaded a different one. So you wanna make sure that is correct as well. Okay, great. Now let's go back. So next step. 
Okay, so we made sure the path is there. Next step, we want to make sure the start process is true. Let's check that also. So these are these are the type of things where it's like gets confusing and um, a lot of times can cause errors. Um, so that's why I've kind of so step start process is false or true. Wait, let's check it. So the start process should be true. Okay, fine. So the start process should be true. Perfect. Great. Start session. Great. Okay, all that's done. It's good. Okay, now what else? Next step. Okay, now we yeah we created Google.js and we just inserted the code. For now, let's just I'm just going to copy this. Okay. All right, great. Um, just simple. If you could look at the comments, you can see uh, it's not very. It's not too complicated. It's not like crazy coding or loops or anything. If you look, just read the lines, it basically says, first, uh, this is a demo test. Um, I'm going the browser function browser, which is the Chrome driver basically, which is it will know um, because we put the browsers here as Chrome driver. So. Um, um, and you can call it anyway. So as you can see, this is just a simple, simple file, simple test. You're tagging it as Google, so you can tag the, the test case to run that simple that, that specific test case. Then you go to the URL. That URL, you go to Google.com. You wait for, uh, until the page loads. You, you assert the, the title is Google and you assert that search box is there and you search for something and then you click search right so let's let's see this in action and i'm going to save this and to run it will be node night watch okay dash e as an environment which is which browser chrome and then a tag which is the tag of the thing so you say google Okay. It could be running in the background as well, so that's why it kind of gives that error message. Come on. There we go. It opened. I think it opened. Yes. So let's see. Yep. It open. Hopefully, it goes to Google.com. Yeah, and should search for night watch. This is all automated, and boom, that's it. We and now you're we're, we're ready basically um, to run your tests in Google. Um, we're gonna create one more folder here called log, and it's going to log all the if we get any errors. Um, it's going to log it. Okay, so I'm just going to create that. Um, okay, uh, let's let's do one more test, uh, and this time we're going to write. Okay, so Google.com, for example. We're going to do one more. We're going to do run one more. Uh, we're just going to. It's going to fail, but we're going to just. Go to Facebook just for the hell of it. So let's see if we can see it. So as you, if I just change the URL, that's it. Now let me write it again. So I'm just going to do a node. Okay. I'm still going to call it Google, but I just want to see if what happens, right? So minimize this. Selenium started. Should open a Chrome driver. I'm going to minimize it so you can see it. Should open a Chrome driver. Uh huh. This is the one. Now it should go to Facebook. There we go. As you can see, and then in the later lectures, we're gonna see how we can write our own test cases and and um, how to inspect element and and so forth. All right. Thanks.